what's up it's Ronnie 619 so I want to come and do this video um I did purchase some products for my face to help me fight hyperpigmentation whenever I break out because um when I do let's let's just talk about skin for a minute okay um Apart from anything else, I think that a lot of people that do have skin conditions, um, some things are hormonal, some things are um, due to lifestyle. Other things, though, are, in my opinion, hereditary. And when I talk about skin conditions, whether it is hyperpigmentation, blemishes or pimples and bumps, breakouts, whatever... Um, even the kind of blemishes that you get, whether they're those craters or those big cysts or, you know, just um, everyone knows what they have on their own. However, both of my parents have issues with acne. Maybe not now that they're older, but before they did. Now, my father would have those craters in his skin, my mother sometimes every now and again would break out and she sometimes she get those big cis kind of bumps. Um, but at the end of the day with my mother, whenever her, whatever kind of bump she got on her face, every time it went down, it would leave a mark. My father, like I said, had those indented when it healed, it left like a little crater, like a little hole or something in his face. Um. I don't, I'm not sure if he still suffers with that today, but for me, I've learned how to control my breakouts and I've also recently bought some products that helped me to get rid of hyperpigmentation. That is something that I have a, a it's a problem for me. Okay. It's a problem for me. And so, and I'm pretty sure for a lot of other women of color or men of color, people of color, it is a problem probably more than likely for them too, okay? Um, but with doing a little bit of research, I learned that moisturizing the face is the most effective way to keep hyperpigmentation down, keeping the face moisturized, supple, giving it a beautiful playing field to be able to heal properly without leaving damage or scar tissue, okay? So what I found, even though it is very time consuming, was Peach and Lily, okay? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Peach and Lily, um, Korean skincare line, okay? And I think that you probably would not think that this is for us, especially because there's so many different steps. But the thing is this, though. You need to have a regimen. You need to have a set regimen that you do day in and day out. Do not change. Do not falter. Do not do anything. Now, you can add a little bit or take a little bit away once you learn what works for you, okay? So... Peach and Lily. I've been using them maybe for about... I've been using this kit. This kit right here, if I'm not mistaken, was about $170 or something like that. I did get a discount um, because they had a sale going on or something like that. But this is something I had to bite the bullet. I bit the bullet and I went ahead and I bought it because I say, you know what? I need products that are cohesive. They go together and I don't have to be trying to piece and pick and figure out what works together and what does not. You know what I mean? If Because that's another big thing that we do a lot of times is, oh, we'll, 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 we'll watch YouTube and we'll see somebody that uses that and we'll see someone that uses that and then the homegirl will tell us to get this and then the homeboy tells us to get that and then we just try to go put everything together and then once we start using it, we don't know what is working and what's not working. So the best thing to do is just go ahead and get a cohesive line. You can either be a minimalist, which is really what I like to be as a minimalist. Um, I just want a nice cleanser, a nice uh, toner, a nice moisturizer, and a nice sunscreen, and a nice serum to help get rid of 
dark marks. So I guess I'm not really a minimalist, but really, if I could just have something super, super basic like that, that works for me. But with this particular line right here, bro, once I started using this, I was like, oh, this is the business, okay? So this video is going to be kind of a three in one, all right? The reason why it's going to be a three in one is because it's not just going to have to do with the products that I use on a daily to wash my face to help get, a ri get rid of my hyperpigmentation. Um, and this is so good. Like, this is so, so good. It's getting so, so bad. There's times where my face is pow. And then there's times I may could take a supplement or I may put too much oil in my hair. I may put a product in my hair and get on my face. I may, um, you know, just not washing your hands properly, washing your pillowcases, all these different things. Okay, so... I know I've been rambling a lot, but what I really want to do is really get into this peach and lily, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my hair back, all right? First thing we're going to do is tie the hair back. Now, I just got done moisturizing my hair real good, and um, I got a lot of oil and all everything else on there, so I'm going to... Tying the hair back, okay? Um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is a lot of people like to use their hands. They don't like to use towels and different things like that. For me, if I'm not using, I like to use the spin brush to exfoliate when I need to exfoliate. Um, but if not, I buy these. Okay? Koala baby. I don't care what brand it is or whatever, but you know that I do have a three-year-old. Um, and so we buy these towels. These towels are so soft. They have a very soft side and then they have a little bit of a rougher side on the other. So this is the soft side. As you can see, it's very nice and smooth. And then you can turn into this side, which is uh -oh, this side, which is textured and the exfoliating side. This is for babies' bodies, babies' bums, okay, babies' faces. And you want to be very gentle with them. So I buy these and when I wash these, I wash these in their own little bag or I wash them in my sink and I'll lay them up and hang them up to dry or do whatever. Um... But when I have these, everyone knows these don't go on your rump. These don't go. These are moms. All right. So if you're a person that likes to use a cloth or a towel or something like that, I would say to buy some of these. Um, they're very gentle on the skin and they're not towels that they're not community towels. OK, everyone will know that these are your towels for your face, period. All right. So I want to get into the washing of the face and how I use this product. So the first thing that I have here is the Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Okay. The Hydrating Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. All right. This has Camellia and Chamomile. And I love that it has Camellia because my aunt's name is Carmelia. So... <laughs> I really like that. So first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to turn your water. You want to get your water nice and tepid. You don't want your water to be too hot, and you don't want your water to be too cold because you want to be able to break down that dirt on the face, okay? So go ahead and set your water to a nice, tepid temperature. And this, for me, is really good. So this is a nice. First thing I do is go ahead and put the water on. You can wash your hands with soap before you do this if you like, if you have anything on your hands. If not, you go ahead and dump the water on your face. This is the amount that I like to use. That's it. Okay? I like to rub it in. 
you know, you can turn your water off at this point, but, you know, if you need exfoliating, you can go in with your spin brush if you like. If you just want a nice gentle cleanse, you can just go in with your hands. The reason I'm not going to go in with my exfoliating brush or my spin brush is because I'm also going to do a little bit of an update on the microdermabrasion uh, wand that I have, okay? So, wash 60 seconds. If you need to go ahead and double up with a little bit more water, grab a little bit more water. Now we're going to go ahead and rinse my baby towel. Rinse it off nicely. I'll take the exfoliating side. Now, normally, face is pretty clean, okay? Normally, this would be a time where I would take my towel and push anywhere that I have any clogged pores or anything like that, but that's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now, after my face is washed, is take my Lux Skin microdermabrasion kit okay I'm going to use the head that's for all skin types you guys go back and check my last video um, about the microdermabrasion kit okay now the reason why I'm doing an update on this is because the other day or last week or so I was doing this and I noticed that my skin started tugging and drying. It was getting real ashy and it wasn't, you know, I was like, what the heck is going on? And I had a, um, I had someone who watched the video and they said, you know, I tried this and it just made my skin dry and pull and tug and it made it ashy and white. And I was like, what? You know? And so... What I realized is that when I did mine, I was in my shower, had my I had taken a shower, my bathroom was still very um steamy, you know what I mean? My skin was staying open, my pores were staying open, it was really hot, warm and hot inside. But for those of you who are are not in that kind of climate and you're and you want to use this. I figured out how you can keep your skin nice and supple and wet so that it can pull out all the impurities without it turning white and without it um, pulling and tugging your skin and making it ashy. So what you do is that towel, this baby towel, okay? Go ahead and wet that up. Now this baby towel, once you're going to do this, you're going to go ahead and you're going to uh, use a warm temperature or even a hot temperature because you do want to open up those pores okay um this right here has a setting so it has i'm going to of course use it on oily because i typically have oily skin if you have normal click it to normal if you have dry click it to dry okay what i've learned to do so that you don't have that problem is take your towel okay press your towel here and start with your treatment follow up keeping the pores open 
follow up. Okay. Got it. This is how you keep the skin nice and supple and wet while you are doing your microdermabrasion treatment. Okay, come back here, lay here. Once you open up those pores, go ahead and follow through with your towel. have to make sure it's at the right angle because this one is an angle an angled one and I'm right handed but I'm using my left hand just make sure it flows naturally now okay so now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you. You see there? That's gunk and dirt. Okay? And that's all you really need to do is follow or lead this tool with a wet towel. Alright? So I'm going to do that. Let's, let's finish doing it. Okay. And I'll push down into the skin. That's what I like to do. I like to push down into the skin. Come here on the face. Go up. Go up. Get rid of all those impurities. Go slower than me if you want to, but. You can see the white stuff. You can see it. And this is how That's how you would keep your face nice and supple as you do this. Now, see all that? I know it's gross, but it is what it is, and everybody's face has it. So, I don't feel bad. Now, you can take your time and clean that out as you want to, but what I want to do at this point is continue... What I want to do at this point is continue with my regimen. So, typically, I'm going to go back in, wet my face down again. And the reason why I'm going to do that is just because I want to make it, I want to calm it. Okay. I want to calm it. Now, remember, I just got done washing my face. So, now I'm going to go in with my Wild Dew Treatment Essence. This I love. 
this olive. Now, I don't put this on a cotton ball because I don't want it going seeping up into my cotton ball and then I'm wasting product. So what I like to do is just take it, two, three, four. You could do three, I just did like seven. And that's it. That's enough for your whole, for your whole face. Smells so good, feels so good. And it really doesn't have a, a major smell at all. It's very light and very airy, which is what I love. I don't like products that have very high scent, uh, all of that weird stuff. I'm gonna have my sinuses acting up, my face acting up, and all kind of stuff. Okay. So anybody that does have acne issues, you can go to your doctor, and your doctor can prescribe you uh, a dappling and benzoyl peroxide. Okay. I think this is called like Epidural or something like that. And you can see the percentage. A dappling is um, 0.1%. And benzoyl peroxide is 2.5%. You really don't need to go more than 2.5, 5, 10, all that weird stuff. You don't need to do that. 2.5 is enough. Hit it with a dab. And that's even too much. All you need is a dime size. Rub it in. Because I've seen people say, oh, a dime size is not enough for my whole face. Baby, yes, it is. This that I just put on my face was too much. Okay? Now... That is my acne treatment cream. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and go into with is um, my moisturizer. So for this line, it's the Pure Beam Lux Oil, okay? This is replenish and rebalance. It has jojoba and squalene. Squalene is very, very good for the skin, balancing the skin out. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that this one has lotus and bamboo, okay? So, um, this squalene is very good for balancing the skin out, making it help, making it very supple. So this is an oil. This is clearly is an oil that's not going to clog my pores. It is going to help seal in the moisture. Okay, that I just got done putting into my face. And after I'm done with that, this is something that I found at Sprouts. This is Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. This is also going to help keep your face nice and supple, but it also has vitamin C, a very um, stable form of vitamin C that mixes well with a lot of different products. I do two pumps. You see how runny it is? This also helps to get rid of my hyperpigmentation. But even before I bought this one, I didn't need it. This product alone, um, this Peach and Lily product alone was perfect. But I really wanted to amp up um, the benefits that I would be able to get from a vitamin C to help with even skin tone and hyperpigmentation, okay? Rub that in nice and good. Now it is a serum, so it goes on after your moisturizer, which is why I did it in that order. They also have their own peach extract and peptide complex. Now this is the glass skin refining serum. Okay, so you'll notice that I put my serums on, I line my serums up and put them on um, one after the next. So I put the vitamin C serum on first because I want that to penetrate a little bit more deeper. And then I put in this glass serum. I do two pumps. You can do one or you could do two. I, I could have just did one, but I do two. I did two. Now, this is normally where you get your glass skin. 
I don't, I, I never leave my eyes out. I'm just careful with which products go on and around my eyes because around the eyes, this area is very uh, thin, fragile, gentle, and you don't want harsh chemicals there um, because anyone who has used benzoyl peroxide or uh, salicylic acid or something like that and got it too close, you know that burn that you get in these gentle areas and, and the scarring and um, the dryness that you get in those areas. So be very gentle with what you do put around your face and on your face um, and in which areas. But with the serums, the moisturizers, I go on my lips, I go on my eyes, I go on my, around my entire face, okay? My skin is looking nice, supple, happy, good, okay? And then the last but not least, this one right here is a matcha pudding antioxidant cream. I believe you can wear this one very similar to a sunscreen because it helps to moisturize and protect. And this one has niacinamide, which will cause, help your skin to not break out from um, certain products that you put on it. And it has matcha in it, so it's green. I just take a nice little dab like this. That's it. This is gonna last a long time, okay? I just take that and put it on my face. Now, if I plan on going outside, I did buy this also on the Peach and Lily website. It is a different brand. It also is a Korean brand. However, this is a vegan, all-natural brand. It is a UV sun shield of, um, I think it's, yeah, 50 SPF, okay? This is Root Tree. Um, and it does not leave one of those ugly casts on your face. So if you're going to go outside, put it on. See that? Doesn't give you that ugly white, purple, you know. You know what it is when you be looking for a freaking um, sunscreen and then turn your face all crazy. Ugh. You be looking crazy. Okay. And that, my friends, is it. And watch your skin transform. Okay. Watch your skin become new and fresh and happy and vibrant. And watch when, if you do have a blemish, it's not going to dry out and be cracking. You're not going to be wanting to peel it because it's going to be so moisturized and so supple and so soft that it's going to allow it the space to heal properly so that it does not leave a scar after it finalizes its healing process, okay? I promise you. They always have um, good sales. If you don't want to buy this in the whole kit, you don't have to. You can buy each individual thing. So if I were going to recommend an individual thing, I would recommend definitely the Wild Dew. Definitely the Lux Moisturizing Oil, the Pure Beam. Definitely get the sunscreen. I think that with the gel, um, I do think it's a beautiful, nice, light um, cleanser. But I do think you can probably get away with using Acetaphil. Um, you know, something of that sort or a black soap or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you have those little basics like... Your toner, your moisturizer, and your protective cream or um, sunscreen, I think you'll be okay. But I still would say, just buy the kit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You really won't go wrong with buying the kit.
Um, now, once I do this kit, I'm going to go on there and I'll probably find a different kit and try that one out. But with all due respect, I must say that this is the first line that I've used, that a complete line that has not let me down at all. All the products are beautiful. They do as they say and they are and, and they and they and they say as they do. OK, so. Bronte is telling you. All right. Um, again, don't forget the baby towels. And don't forget to get yourself, if you got hyperpigmentation, go on ahead and grab you something with a little vitamin C inside of there um, to help speed up the process of eliminating your hyperpigmentation. And with that being said, I highly recommend Peach and Lily. Everything on their site, I highly recommend. And they don't just have just Peach and Lily stuff. They have different brands. So if you go looking for something... Um, you can look and see, oh, well, I have fine lines and wrinkles. You can click this and it'll bring up all the brands. And so they're all Korean skincare brands. You don't necessarily have to have a one, two, three, four, five, five-step Korean brand, you know, skincare regimen. But what I will say is go ahead and try it. It's definitely worth it. It's giving you everything that your skin needs for your skin to be at its best. All right? So don't cheat yourself treat yourself and with that being said i'm gone